so I am in this Altima, the one I just put that oil cooler on. It's been about three weeks, I want to say. So anyway, the car wouldn't start, right? So they were going to get the car towed out here to put a starter on it, okay? I said, okay, fine, put a starter on it. Uh, so Triple B goes over there to pick up the car. But before he picks it up, he tries to jump start it and the car starts. So he said it's the battery, it's not the starter. So they put a brand new battery in it, right? The car starts up. But as soon as it starts up, all of a sudden, she's like, hey, I can't get the car out of park. The, ped the brake pedal is rock hard. So she ended up having to get it towed over here anyway. Um, and we're at the point where the tow truck just dropped it off, right? I got it to start up and the brake pedal is indeed very hard to push. First thing I notice is one of our front calipers is locked up so that's what's going on here that's why she can't really press a brake pedal to disengage uh, the shift lever here and that's why the car doesn't want to move you got to kind of once you if you push the pedal hard enough you could get it to uh, go into gear and then once it's going you really have to give it gas to overcome uh, the resistance of the the seized caliper so that's all car needs i'm about to jack it up and find out which caliper is seized up and we'll go from there with uh, changing it Right, so I got the front left side off of the ground uh, and I cannot move this wheel it's completely locked up so this is the caliper that sees but I'm gonna go ahead and check the one on the passenger side as well With the wheel off of the car you can see the discoloration in the rotor it kind of has like that rainbow effect on it definitely the rotor is being overheated so let me go ahead and check the other side real fast. It is going to need a new set of pads, so we're just going to take care of that all at once. All right, so this wheel is also off the ground, but I cannot spin this wheel either. That's weird. All right, so it's only the front wheels. The, the rear wheels are not locked up. Um, yeah, I don't think it's a caliper at this point. It's highly unlikely that both calipers went bad at the same exact time. I just don't believe it. There's got to be something else going on here. So I had to work on another car. So this one's been sitting for like two hours or so. And I get back to it and as soon as I start up the car, we have a normal brake pedal now. It actually goes down. See, before I was kind of suspecting, is there a vacuum issue to the brake booster because it felt like rock hard. But no, you know, this, this booster gets vacuum from the engine. So, so that's not the issue, but right now, you know, we could shift out of park just fine now because we could actually move the brake pedal now. But at this moment, the calipers are still kind of locked up. The car only moves if you force it to move. Like right now, it's a reverse, okay? My foot's not even on the brake, yet we are not moving. But if I hit the accelerator pedal and force it to move, it moves very slowly. And then just kind of comes to a stop all by itself. So the front calipers are definitely um, sticking. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't see what would be causing this besides, I know I said it's unlikely that two calipers went bad at the same time, but honestly, I think that's where I'm gonna go with this. I got the car in the garage, and once again, it's like the front calipers are like really locked up now, just the way it came in. Uh, and the brake pedal, I know you can't see anything, but the brake pedal is back to being like rock solid. I'm having a difficult time getting the caliper off because you can imagine it's in its closed state. You know, it's like trying to remove a caliper with someone's foot on the brake pedal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up this bleed valve. If we still don't, after this valve is open, if we still don't relieve any pressure from right here, then it's a bad caliper, okay? But if we do relieve pressure, then something's going on either inside this brake hose or further in down the system all right so i open up the valve and it did relieve some of the pressure i was able to just kind of wiggle the caliper off of the pads and then uh so you can take out my brake uh tool inside of here and with the uh valve open the piston did go in okay but as soon as i closed the valve piston didn't want to go in anymore I'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact test on the other side. I'm, I wanna make sure these calipers work because since they are the most, kind of like the most expensive part in the system, um, I don't wanna go throwing calipers at it, okay? So I'm gonna confirm that the piston does go in if we have this valve open. If it's the same thing on the other side, I'm gonna start with replacing these rubber hoses. I'm sure they are the original hose from Nissan when the car was made. Um, so I don't know if there's some sort of restriction inside of here. It's not likely because it wouldn't, you know, what are the chances of this thing affecting both sides at the same time? 
but we got to start somewhere. All right, so I did the same exact test on this side. You can see the brake fluid on the floor here. And yes, the piston was hard to go in until I opened up the bleed valve. All of a sudden, the piston goes in without a problem. What I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to start the car again. Let's get back to where we were with a hard pedal and the calipers locking up. And this time, I'm going to try to crack it free right here. If we could uh, crack this free and we still can't relieve the pressure from the caliper, then that is telling us that we have a restriction inside of this hose. I don't know. I don't think it's, like I said earlier, I don't think it's likely because for both of them to go bad at the same exact time. Uh, but we got to test little by little. So, All right, so we are back at square one. I turned the engine on, pumped the pedal a few times until the pedal got hard again. As you can see, I cannot move this rotor any direction. And I only have one bolt in the caliper. It's this one. There's nothing on the bottom. And actually, this one's loose. So this caliper should just kind of flop out at this point. As you can see, it doesn't move. It is stuck solid okay so we are good we are good as far as where we want to be now we're gonna go ahead and crack this free and see if it relieves the pressure right, so i've gone ahead and cracked that open you can see we are leaking brake fluid now now we can move the rotor and we should be able to pull this out it's wobbling there it goes okay so yeah just as i suspected because i mean two brake hoses to go bad at the same exact time eh, not likely all right so there is nothing wrong sure it could use brake pads right and new rotors because of the overheating but technically there's nothing or what's causing the problem is not here at the actual brakes themselves there's a separate reason on why there is brake pressure being applied to the front brakes only could it be the ABS module? Another thing to note is they did not have this issue before the battery got replaced. Okay, so it was a no crank situation. I was, like I said earlier, they wanted me to put a starter on it. Triple B came over, gave them a jump. The car started up. She's like, okay, good. We're just going to put a new battery in it. They put a new battery in it. But all of a sudden they noticed after the battery install, all of a sudden the car doesn't want to move because the front brakes are locked up. What's going on here? All right, so... Here's what I started to do. I pulled off the air box, right? Uh, because I want to get to the brake booster. I was gonna see if we had vacuum there, which we should. I don't see why we shouldn't, we wouldn't have vacuum there, right? Anyway, it was getting late and I was starting to get hangry. That's hungry and angry at the same time from hunger. <laughs> so anyway, I went in the house to get something to eat and I figured while I'm in there, I might as well go on Google and see if this is an issue. So on the Nissan Club Forum, apparently this is a issue. And not only on Altimus, just Nissans in general, I guess, because some people are talking about Pathfinders having the same issue. Anyway, they were talking about the brake and cruise control switches causing an issue like this, where if they're out of adjustment, they will cause your front brakes to lock up. That's one side of the car. And on the forum, they were talking about how, how the switch has to be in a very specific place. Okay, you want the switch adjusted so that the little plunger that's on the switch, when the pedal comes back up and it's in its normal resting state, that pedal is only supposed to push on the plunger just a very small amount, just enough to turn off your brake lights, okay? And when I came in here and checked this car, let's go inside of here. Okay, so I've already adjusted it. And you can see how this is where the pedal, the brake pedal is at, right? And I've adjusted it so that it is just barely pressing on both of these switches. One is a cruise control, the other one is gonna be a brake switch. And also right here, you see we have like a quarter inch gap right here. Well, when I first came in here, these things were maxed out, as in there was no gap at all. These things are both bottomed out against the metal plate. Both switches are like that. So you can see how much of a gap I had to adjust them. I pulled them back basically. And now when the sw when the brake pedal is in its natural resting position, uh, they are just barely pushing on the switch. Just enough to turn off your brake lights, right? And after I did that, well, let me tell you one thing. Before I started touching the switches, I came out here to verify that we still have the brakes locked up and I could not spin the rotor. 
could not move the caliper and after I adjusted both of those switches let me show you what's going on let me put on my glove here okay so after adjusting both of the switches I came out here and look at it it's no longer holding the brakes now I can't pull the caliper out because I already put the two bolts in it but the caliper did and is now free that's that's crazy it's the first time i've ever seen an issue like this where out of adjustment brake switch and cruise control switch will cause your front brakes to lock up that's that's really something else like i said it's not only on altimas someone was mentioning this same exact problem on their nissan pathfinder so let's get inside the car now let's start it up and I could tell you right now, the, the pedal already feels different, all right? That right there feels like a normal brake pedal now. The whole time this car was here, it did not feel like this. So I'm gonna pump it up a few times. And of course, I, I know I have to bleed out the system because I did open up the, the lines, but we still have brake pressure, all right? So at this point, the front brakes would be locked up. All right, just like always, let's go out here and check it. If they were locked up, I would not be able to spin the rotor right now. Look at that. I could move the rotor. The brakes are not locked up. I would have never expected that those switches would cause your front brakes to lock up. Since the car is here, I'm gonna talk to the owner and see if she wants to get any maintenance done. Maybe like a brake fluid flush. Uh, she needs new brake pads because it's starting to get low. This is the first test drive after messing with the two switches. And as you can see, I'm driving a car. The brakes work fine. Thank you.